It is used to recall purchases on credit of an entity. So what is the purchases journal? I'm Thomas Harwood and welcome to the Accounting Student where we create free and short videos so that you can learn about accounting. Today's video is looking at what is the purchases journal. Most businesses have a large quantity of purchases on credit. To remind you, a credit purchase is where goods or services were bought from a supplier and the business and supplier agree for the payment to be paid at a future date. After a credit purchase has been made, an invoice is usually sent from the supplier demanding payment by a certain date. A purchase invoice is a source document which provides a record of the purchase transaction and it can look like this. The invoice totals are entered into a book of original entry. In this example, a purchase invoice would be entered in the purchases journal. The purchases journal can also be referred to as the purchase day book and it will usually look something like this. Starting from the first column is the date of the transaction, i.e. purchase is entered here. Then in the next column is the name of the supplier which the purchase was made from. The third column will have the invoice number and the fourth column will be the folio which provides a quick reference of where the other accounts can be found in the accounting system. For example the general ledger is GL, the sales ledger is SL and the purchase ledger is PL. The final column is the amount of the transaction. Let's add information of weekly purchases so each each purchase in the purchase journal will be posted separately in each supplier or creditor account on the credit side which are held in the purchase ledger and to complete the double entry the total of the purchase journal which is 435 pounds will be entered on the debit side of the purchase account in the general ledger so that was the explanation of the purchase journal if you enjoyed it press the like button if you have a question you want answered leave it in the comments below and we'll try our best to answer it and if you're not already subscribed make sure you click the red subscribe button to keep updated with the accounting student thanks for watching we'll see you next time